Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install mods on an ARC server. Before we get started, we will be using an FTP client to transfer files over. If you do not know how to do so, I will have a video linked in the description. Also, adding mods can corrupt existing save files, so make sure you back up any saves locally so you don't lose any progress. Finally, some mods require a specific mod load order. If you need to learn how to change the mod load order, I will have a video linked in the description as well. First, from our Steam library, we're going to choose Arc Survival Evolved. We're then going to go to the Workshop tab, and we're going to scroll down and choose the See All button to see all the mods. And then we're going to choose a mod that we would like to add and click the green subscribe button. We are then going to go inside the mod and we want to copy the workshop ID. This will often be in the description somewhere. We are then going to log into our Bicyc Toasting Games panel and choose our ARC server. From here, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We are then going to go to the mods tab. And then in the Steam Workshop installer, we are just going to paste that Steam Workshop ID in this field and choose the Install button. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of the mod, but once that's done, we can go back to the Home tab, start our server, and we will have installed those mods on an ARC server. We will now go over how to install mods on an ARC server manually. From the Steam library, we're going to choose ARC Survival Evolved, and then we're going to choose the Workshop tab. And then we will scroll down and choose the See All Mods button. And then we are going to choose a mod that we would like to subscribe to and choose the green subscribe button. And then within that mod, we are going to look for the mod ID. Oftentimes it is in the description. Once we have that mod ID copied, we are then going to go back to our library, right click Arc Survival Evolved, go to Manage and choose Browse Local Files. Once this opens, we're going to go back to the Steam Apps folder, and then we're going to go to the Workshop folder, then the Content folder, and finally, we're going to go to the folder marked 346110. This is the ARC folder. Once we have that open, we can minimize this folder. We will use this later. We are then going to log into the Bicyc Toasting Games panel and choose our ARC server. Then we will choose the Stop button to stop the server. We now need to log into our ARC server using an FTP client. Again, if you do not know how to do so, I will have a video linked in the description. We then can go to the Shooter Game folder, then the Content folder, and finally the Mods folder. We can now open up that folder that we minimized from earlier, and we need the Mod ID corresponding to the folder with that same number. Once we have the folder that's the same mod ID as the mod we downloaded, we can just drag and drop that into the mods folder on the server. Once that's fully moved over, we can go back to the Bicyc Hosting Games panel, choose the Startup tab, and where it says Game Mod IDs, we are going to paste the workshop ID that we had from earlier. If we have more than one, make sure to separate the multiple workshop IDs with a comma. Once we have that added to the game mods field, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we will have installed those mods on our ARC server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.